Uh, hi everybody, this is the um, the next stage in um, the uh, practice layout in the shed. Um, as you can see I've now laid the track. Um, before I go on, please excuse uh, the bounciness um, because um, there isn't a great deal of room to move in the shed so I've got to hold um, the camera um, so it will be a bit shaky so apologies for that right so um, I've managed to get three um, loops down and uh, one siding um, I'll show you the plan I used which I had to adapt and I'll, t and I'll tell you why when I, when I, when I get to that um, so what I'll do is I'll just take you round um, the uh, baseboard and I'll t tell you what uh, I intend to do um, as you can see on the back scene um, I've started to paint it um, I'm going to paint it all blue streaky blue um, like streaks of white and blue um, my wife showed me how to do that um, so I can get some sort of cloud effect and then I sort of stippled on the uh, clouds when it's dry my wife's going to go over it with like sort of grey paint different shades of grey and to get different shades of the clouds um, and that will be all the way around um, the, the uh, baseboard uh, and the, the backboard um, what she is, she's then going to do for me as I get to each stage building a diorama um, for example I'm building a tunnel which I'll show you in a minute uh, on top of that tunnel will be um, some farm animals uh, fencing and um, uh, the odd building with several trees and then she's going to paint behind those trees more trees that sort of disappear into the background and possibly the odd building that you can see just in the distance because I didn't really want to go to the expense of buying a back uh, back scene uh, for this particular practice layout um, because it is a practice layout uh, for me to learn how to do static grass and um, do all the wiring, all the points and so on um, hence the, the, this, this practice uh, layout in this uh, 8 foot by 5 foot shed um, so what I'll do now, I'll show you uh, the track and what I intend to do. What I managed to to get to install are express points. There's two express points there because I believe they're better than the Hornby standard point. Um, all this track is Hornby um, and I've decided um, when I do the main layout, when I move to a bungalow, um, I'll probably use Pico, probably Flexi Track. Um, easier to control um, using Hornby's fixed track you, you, you can be restricted um, in the curves and, and so on whereas the flexi track uh, the Pico flexi track uh, I believe it's, it's much more uh, manageable um, that Hornby track um, platform by the way I'm not, I'm not using Hornby I'm going to make my own <coughs> excuse me out of um, probably MDF and spray the MDF with the, that textured paint you can buy uh, to make it look like gravel um, so yeah as you can see I've got um, this will be the main station area the main station which is only the Metcalf one will be here um, and then I'm going to do a car park um, next to it um, so yeah this will be a whole all of this will be the station area all the way down there and now I've measured and I can get four, tr four coaches and a locomotive in the station um, which, is, which is good enough for this layout not only big trains uh, I won't be able to run because um, they're too long for this um, those coaches, by the way, go over these express points really, really well. Um, I believe the, uh, the 
the uh, those coaches are very um, susceptible to derailment because they're you know, quite light. It's only the cheap Hornby. Um, I forgot what you call them now. What those what those coaches are called? Pullman Pullman coaches. Um, they're only the cheap ones. Um, so I ran them by hand over all the points and they, they seem to go pretty well so the loops, three loops go all the way around down to here that is just a standard Hornby point and we move over to the other end so we can try and get as much in shot um, here and then I've got this one siding here which comes off this Hornby point. This area here is where I'll be putting a bridge. I need some advice off experienced modelers regarding the, uh, the tunnel. The tunnel will be going across these two tracks. That one will be passing the tunnel on the outside. Uh, obviously there's a siding, that siding is not going to go anywhere other than there. Now the advice I need, those are express points of all by the way, um, so I can get onto the outer loop and um, that's why those points are there because um, those will only give me the inner two loops those two points so I want to go onto the outer loop i put those there <coughs> now the advice I need if I can get round and show you I'm thinking of using these I'm trying to try and steady this camera I'm thinking of using this now I don't want it on an angle like that, I like it straight, but as you can see uh, it's much too big to go to, to, to cover these two tracks. Um, what I was thinking of doing, if I can lay it down, is you can just see a faint line there. Uh, I put that there, it's not uh, part of the weathering. I was going to cut it all the way up there and all the way up there and then hopefully then it will fit on there like that and one the other end but my wife says about uh, using um, plywood and make my own out of plywood because what I can then do is let's lay it down again is lay this on plywood get this curve um, cut it that width from there to there um, I won't have any of these features on the top excuse the wind uh, by the way if it gets a bit noisy in here it's quite windy in, in Kent at the moment and it's rattling the door um, so yeah I was going to use the plywood uh, to make two of these um, excluding the top detailing and then I was going to use um, um, I don't know, plaster of Paris if that's what it's called the, the, the um, sheets of um, I don't know what they're called now but they are called plaster of Paris where you soak them and covered in plaster and then you mould it on and so on I was going to do that there with two pieces of plywood uh, and then mould all the um, the, the plaster of Paris in to create the hill um, so the hill will be relatively flat and wavy um, all the way down to about there um, is that how you experienced models would do it um, or would you cut this down um, if someone can come up with um, a suggestion for me for the tunnel mouths please let me know the main tunnel I've got a very large um, carpet um, roll um, that I was going to cut cut down to, to, to form the main tunnel I was going to line the inside of it with um, the imitation brickwork the, the papers you, you can buy that down low from quite a lot of websites now free of charge I'm just going to stick that on the inside um, put some lights in it as well uh, through the tunnel yeah so that's that that's the tunnel um, what I want to do is, if I can show you the cheap Hornby standard point, 
Here's the DCC clips there. I want to take them out and solder underneath, solder wires underneath to do away with these clips. The get down here like this. The express points don't have it. Those those clips. So I'm going to take them off and solder underneath. I've also got. Um, I thought I brought them in the shed with me. It must be in the house. Um, instead of using track pins to, to fasten them down, I've got uh, screws which were designed to replace track pins. So instead of having to lock them in, I'm going to screw them in. Um, I bought 200 and it came with a screwdriver for the job. And I thought I brought them in with me, but I can't find them. Um, bear with me a second. I think I've found them. Turn out the envelope. Bear with me. There we are. Close. You can get various lengths. Um, these are 10 mil. I think you start from 6 mil um, screws. Uh, and this came with them, the screwdriver. Um, yeah, because I'm putting, I'm putting three mil, um, three mil what? Um, cork. <laughs> three mil cork underneath to create the shoulder. Um, blue paint. Um, and then I'm going to ballast. Um, and I needed to be able to go through the through the track through three mil into this, um, sort of 6mm, um, but a bit, a bit too small, so I opted for the 10mm, you can get longer, um, so that's what they are. So I think, um, I can't think of anything, anything else to tell you, I'm very pleased with the way the track has turned out. Um, these are the track plans by the way I started off with. If I can get them in shot. That's just a list of components. Um, Hornby track. I used any rail, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, uh, well, I was going to do that. And have the, this area here as a sort of TMD. Um, then I changed it, I added those. But I then discovered when I was started to do that, this area ended up a bit too cluttered. And this area uh, is a bit limited to do a TMD. Um, that's the station by the way. And then, then I discovered when I put the, this together, I hadn't allowed for the width of the platform. So I had to bring these two, separate these two tracks, which threw out those plans then along there, it, because it widened them and it narrowed these. Um, but it did work out uh, quite well in the end. So I took all this out, all of it, just had the one siding in. And what I'm going to do, this area here, is going to be a farm. I'm going to do some sort of dioramas here and there. Um, I should get quite nice dioramas over there. Um, one of the problems with this camera is you don't get a good depth of field um, to see how, although it's only 8 by 5 you still get quite a lot in there. The camera shows us pretty small. But that's where a farm's going to be. Um, I've seen a nice diorama of a ploughed field with a tractor in it which will fit in nicely there so I'm going to make one of them and do something over there this end, the, yeah, then what I'm going to do um, because this became clotted and I didn't want it there's going to be a road that stroke the track all the way along again, sorry about the shots all the way along down to this area and there'll be a, like a small village here I do mean small, 
Um, I've got a really nice pub stroke hotel, um, which I'm going to go there, and a nice pond diorama I've got, which I'm going to go there, and a few other little bits and pieces. There's going to be a, d a level crossing there with a tunnel here that's going to go to nowhere. Um, so there'll be a tunnel there, and I've another diorama in that corner. And then I, but I wanted to link both the, f the, the farm and the small village, and it will be small, uh, a bit like a village green in other words. Uh, I want to link them together via the road that's going to come along here. There's going to be other features along here that are planned for. Uh, and that's it. So now I'm going to finish painting. Um, what I'm going to do next is um, testing. Oh, there's my wife. Say hello. Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh, she's painting as well. Um, oh, she's thrown me. What was I going to say? Well, yeah. What I'm going to do now is finish painting the back scene. Um, and then I'm going to do some testing. Get some of my trains down. And uh, to try the track. And if I'm happy that the trains run really well, I'll start putting the cork down. Uh, and you'll see the back scene will be finished off as well. Um, then put the cork down. And then ballast. And weather the ballast, that sort of thing. I, I can imagine that's going to take me a few weeks to do all of that. So the next video you'll see will be a couple of trains running where I'm testing the track. So thanks very much for your time and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Uh, hi again. I forgot to, to show you um, the additional lights I put in in addition to that one. That I can switch on and off here. I can switch these on and off. In addition to these, uh, that light rather, I put these two strip lights which I can turn on and off. There's one there, which lights up that area nicely. And there's one there, on this side, which will light up the tunnel and so on. And I just switch them on and off using simple switches like this. So I'll switch it on. So now it lights up this area. Ignore all the wiring, I've got to rewire them uh, properly. Uh, that just uh, uh, was put there rough. Lee, roughly, um, so I can put these lights in, that one and that one. So I've got plenty of lights in here now. I've got other lights, I've got a lighting strip I'm going to put underneath to light up um, the bottom of the baseboard when I start doing the wiring under there. Um, but yeah, I forgot to show you the, those lights. Got pretty curtains as well, by the way, as well. Aren't they nice? Um, I put them up, or my wife did. Um, because of tow rugs if they get in the garden I don't want them to be able to see through the window and see what's in here so put a couple of curtains up one there and one there on that window so that's it for now um, yeah <laughs> bye for now bye